Novak Djokovic versus Yannick Sinner is the second match for the ATP Finals for 2023, and both were impressive in their first matches at the tournament. Yannick Sinner will be coming into the ATP Finals as the number four in the world, which is his career high ranking, and also finally qualifies on his own back this time around. He has appeared at the ATP Finals before, was as an alternate in 2021, winning one of the two matches that he played. But as I mentioned, this will be the first time he's actually qualified and will play all three matches if he stays healthy. His record, 57 wins, 14 losses this year, and he's won four titles from the six finals that he's played, with his biggest title coming in Canada at that 1,000 event. His best win, beating Alcaraz in Miami. His worst loss, coming at the French Open, losing to Altmaier, who was a qualifier from Germany in a five-set shock. His form has been great, though, with his last loss coming as a walkover loss from fatigue and having won Vienna the week before, Sinner will be looking to continue his good form of late towards the end of the year. Novak Djokovic comes into the ATP Finals as the number one in the world and only needs one win to wrap up the year-end number one ranking for another time. His ATP Finals record, his best results here have been winning the title on multiple occasions in 2008, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015 and becoming in as the defending champion from last year's event winning it back in 2022. His record, 51 wins, 5 losses, of course not playing that much due to not being allowed to play in America and also so, taking some time off after the US Open and his record has been six titles in one final with the only loss that he's had in a final being at Wimbledon to Alcaraz. His best win was beating Alcaraz in Cincinnati and of course beating Alcaraz at the French Open and his worst loss was against Lajovic who was 70 in the world at the time in Bosnia during the clay court swing. But he's got the best form of anybody coming in with no losses in his last 10 matches. In fact his last loss came at Wimbledon back in July. This year played three times before with Djokovic leading the head dead 3-0 but it will be the first First time they played on a hard court, and with the crowd on Sinner's side, it should make for a really interesting clash. If Sinner's going to win this one, he's going to need to use the crowd and also try to settle the nerves early. Yesterday, in his first match against City Pass, he was served really well as well, so he's going to have to do that against Djokovic if he's going to stand a chance. Djokovic is going to win this one, he needs to get off to a good start, and he struggled a little bit against Runa in that first set. He got the first set, he lost the second, and got through in the third, but he can't rely on Sinner breaking down physically in the third like Runa did the other day. He's also going to have to try and keep the crowd out of his head, or maybe in Embrace the fact the crowd are not going to be on his side. Probably one of the most anticipated matches in this group. Sinner versus Djokovic. Sinner's been in great form. Djokovic is Djokovic. And that's why I've got to go with him. I've got to go with Nole in three. I think Djokovic will win this one just because he's got that 3 0 head to head. I reckon Sinner might get a set, but beating Djokovic is a whole other thing than beating Elkris and Medvedev, like what Sinner has done lately. But let me know in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one?